costing. This is also known as marginal costing. In this case, a firm tries to split its costs into two specific ones, fixed cost and variable cost. Fixed costs are costs that will not change with the level of output in the short run. Variable cost, like EG, uh, example of fixed cost is your rent. The rent that is paid per year will not change in the cost of that year in the short run. Variable costs are costs that will change with the level of output. So in contribution, the firm tries to look at which cost is very important in deciding or in checking or ascertaining whether the business is making some earnings or contributions per unit of output. That is considering the variable cost element, which is the cost that will change as you are increasing your, your units of production. There are two ways we can look at contribution costing. One is graphical method, the other is mathematical or uh, algebraic method. So using the mathematical method, there are some formula that we need to take note of to help us to help the knowledge. Contribution is selling price minus variable cost. Selling price is for one unit and variable cost per unit. The variable cost, as was said earlier, are costs that will change the level of output, like uh, material cost, like direct wages, or other variable overheads per unit will be added and will be deducted from selling price, which is per unit. That will give us contribution per unit. BEP, that's break even point in units. That's number of units that will be produced to avoid loss. That's at that point, that is the point at which there is no loss and there is no profit. At that point, fixed cost is equal to contribution. At that point, total cost is equal to total revenue. There is no profit, there is no loss at break even point. So how many units to produce to make no profit and no loss is called breaking even point in units, and that is equal to fixed cost all over contribution. That's fixed cost over contribution will give us break even point in units. So, break even point in sales is amount of sales that will be generated that will give us no loss and no profit. That is just to multiply number two by selling price. So break even point in sales. That's FC, that's fixed cost over contribution multiplied by selling price. Will give us break even point in sales or just number two multiplied by selling price. Then our uh, total profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. Total revenue is Selling price multiplied by output in sales. Total cost is fixed cost plus total variable cost. Total revenue is selling price multiplied by output of sales. Total cost is fixed cost plus total variable cost. And total variable cost is variable cost per unit multiplied by total output produced. So now, we have margin of safety, MOS. Margin of safety is the number, of, okay, we have in units and in sales, just as we have number two and number three in units and in sales for breaking points. We also have margin of safety for units and sales. Margin of safety in units is number of units that may be produced below the capacity level. Let the gambia below the capacity level that you will still avoid loss, that you will still be saved from loss. That is margin of safety. What is your proportion of safety or what is your unit of safety if you fall below the maximum output capacity? That is total output capacity. Capacity minus break even point in unit. So your output minus break even point in unit. Break even point in unit, if you remember, is a point at which there is no loss, there is no profit. 
So to output capacity, deducting break government you need to give us the number of units that you produce less from maximum capacity that you will still avoid loss or will be saved from loss. So margin of safety in sales. That's total unit, total sales that may fall below total sales revenue that you will still be safe from loss or you will still avoid loss. That means from the total sales, if you are not able to make the total sales, at by what, by how many can you go below the total sales to still avoid loss? That is total revenue minus break even point in sales. That will give us margin of safety in sales. Now that's mathematic. That's Matt's way of doing the break-even analysis. The second way to do break-even analysis is graphical way, where we have fixed cost as a straight line. As I said, the fixed cost does not change with level of output in the short run. So it remains the same in the short run. It doesn't change, although there can be step cost later. That is an, uh, a limitation to break-even assumption. But yet, fixed cost and contribution costing is cost that will not change in the short term the level of output. So we have variable cost and we have total cost called, and finally we have total revenue cost. The point at which total cost equates total revenue is the break-even point. Break-even point is the point in which Total cost is equal to total revenue, or where fixed cost is equal to contribution per unit. So that means this point of intersection is the break-even point. So this is unit, this is sales and cost. So in terms of unit, this is the break-even point in unit. In terms of sales, this point is break-even point. In sales. Do you get it? So when you use graphical way, this is the picture of the break-even analysis. And at this point, oh, okay, uh, there is there are some assumptions or limitations of break-even analysis. One is that the cost can only be classified into fixed and variable. This is a limitation because there are some costs that can be uh, semi-variable cost. Example like uh, commission and what is paid to marketers. You get commission and you get salaries. If you add commission which is variable and salary which is fixed, you get semi variable cost. Break-even point, break analysis does not take note of that. Also, break-even assumes linear uh, linearity for sales price and uh, variable cost. So it assumes that the variable cost will remain the same, sales price will remain the same over the course of the period. This might not be the case in reality. Also, it assumes that all units produced are sold, that there are no closing or unsold inventories. These are limitations of break-even analysis. Thank you very much. On this note, we we'll wrap up this topic of contribution or marginal costing. I hope to see you once again the next time. Please like and share and subscribe this channel. Accounts and Business Made Easy is the name of the channel. Thank you. Bye.